CNN's Dr. Sanjay Gupta is a CBS News contributor and a brain surgeon as well. Sanjay, I know Senator Kennedy was awake for this surgery. That's fairly standard. And it's really important for the doctors who are performing it, right? Yeah, a absolutely. Uh, this gives you a lot of information, Katie. What they do is he's awake, uh, but his head is immobilized by skull pins. What they're trying to figure out is can he do certain things during the operation? Squeeze a hand, lift an arm. Katie, let me show you this image here. Take a look at this brain. We'll go ahead and spin that around. I want to show you exactly what I'm talking about here. If you take away some of the brain tissue, just focus in on this area over here. Go ahead and flash that red. That's the parietal lobe. Very important area. That's where the tumor is located. Here's where the motor area is. And here Here's where the speech area is. They are so close together, Katie, and that's the issue. If he can talk, if he can understand, if he can move during the surgery, that means that the operation is going as planned and important areas of the brain haven't been affected by the operation. And, and they'll be doing the surgery, Sanjay, and asking him to speak and move at the same time? Yeah, it's, it's really remarkable, actually. As, as a neurosurgeon, I, I find this still uh, amazing when I, when I hear about it and read about it. they actually carrying on casual conversation with him. Consider this, Katie. That organ, the brain, which innervates the whole rest of your body, hardly has in any innervation of itself. So it doesn't hurt. Uh, it's just this sort of uncomfortable, awkward sort of thing. But he can talk. He can carry on a conversation, identify flashcards, move his arm. All important feedback for the surgeons. All right. Sanjay Gupta, Dr. Gupta, thank you very much.